think it's like 20 frames long or something. Um, but it simply adjusts the speed of that animation to you know, only take up a certain amount of frames uh, you know, based on the attack that you're getting hit by. So, but the natural, if I'm holding L, the natural transition from shield stun into the next action state for Fox is shield stun, guard set off, into guard. Just regular guard. So, <clears throat> once I go into regular guard, that's when I want to set my next trigger because that's when I'm actionable again. So, I'm going to set hit A and D-pad right, right here, to save state minor, so that I can come back to this frame in a second. Because I want this to be a frame perfect out of shield option. So I don't know, you know, say, I don't know how long he's going to be in guard set off, how long the shield stun animation is. So, I'm just going to continue holding L, um, and I'm just going to, you know, make note of these values, so 13.86, um, and then, okay, so 13.86, and then I'm back to guard. So, I, I, sh I could have acted already in this frame, or, you know, for this past frame, I could have done an input. Um, and I guess I can kind of go on the side here for a brief moment, because, like, you kind of... It's, it's good to kind of understand the flow of the game engine here. So, you know, like this frame that I'm, that I'm, um, oh crap. Well, this frame that I am paused on, you know, has like already happened. So, <clears throat> like the first thing, the first thing that it does not the first thing it does, but in, in relation to like character things, um, <clears throat> you know, it does like a, f it basically does like a for each loop, for each character, starting with player one and going down the line. It looks at player one and then it <clears throat> makes player one go through the like natural transition. So basically, what was happening last frame, um, run through its natural transition. For um, you know the next frame, so say like you know you were landing, well, it would then put you into, and say your landing animation was over, it would then put you into wait, you know because that's like the natural transition from landing is to just is standing, so it goes from landing to wait, and then after wait happens, I get you know after your character has been put into wait, it looks for button inputs. You know, it check it goes through the interrupt function for the wait action state. And then, you know, if you were pressing jump on this frame, then it in your interrupt function, it puts you into jump. So that's how you can execute attacks um, frame perfectly without say without like entering the wait action state. I mean you actually do enter the wait action state, but you never see it because you know, you naturally transitioned into wait, but then your interrupt function actually put you into another action state in that exact same frame. So, what this replay engine sees, what it saves for your action state and your frame number, is it saves your natural transition. Like, whatever happened after the natural transition, it saves, um, you know, the, the action state in the frame before whatever it, button it puts you put in there. So, it's a little confusing. Um, <clears throat> but, basically, I'm trying to save my my guard animation. Or, I'm, I'm trying to use my guard as my trigger right now. So, <clears throat> right now I'm in guard off because I messed around with my controller on accident. So, luckily I saved state minored 
So let's go back to, you know, so I hit A and D-pad left to load state minor. <clears throat> okay, I want to keep holding shield. Okay, I already missed my opportunity because I'm in guard already. So let's go and load state minor again. Okay, so I'm holding L. <clears throat> One more. Okay, so now I know because I just messed it up twice in a row that the next frame I'm going to be in guard. I know that. And that's the, the natural transition from guard set off to guard. So remember, remember that flow of the game engine. I mean, guard set off over here. Next frame, it's going to be guard. I am recording, so it's going to record guard frame zero or whatever, frame negative one or whatever it's called. It's going to record guard frame negative one, <clears throat> and then it's going to apply my button inputs. So, continuing to hold L so that I go into guard, or kind of so that I stay in guard. What's it? C stick up to buffer jump. Okay, so now Fox is in knee bend. But what I had just recorded, you know, the trigger, the action state, and the action state frame number was the natural transition, which was guard. But then in the guard interrupt, you know, that's when the transition, the knee bend actually occurred. But the interrupt, whatever happens after, you know, in the interrupt, that's not what's saved for my trigger frame from my recording. It, re it records and saves the action state and frame of the natural transition. So it saved guard. And then my interrupt looked at, looked for C stick during guard to put me in knee bend. So I want this to be my second trigger for this replay. So I want the rest of my replay that I'm going to record to only happen after it, it after it saw guard. <clears throat> so from this point, um, you know, I from this point I'm done with my triggers. I mean, I got those two that I wanted, <clears throat> which is basically like you know the start of hits of shield stun and the end of shield stun, which. You know, naturally transitioning out of shield stun. So, uh, you know, at this point, uh, Fox is still recording. That's fine. So, hey, let's do a double shine up smash out of shield uh, punish. And let's record it. So, Fox is recording. Fox is in knee bend, one, two, shine, yada, 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 <clears throat> okay, jump, wave dash, and, you know, like say I don't know exactly, I mean I sh should have been counting 10 frames or whatever for the landing fall special uh, wave dash animation, but say I don't. So I don't remember that, so save state minor. Um, 21, 24, 27. Okay, 27 was the last. Let's load save state minor. 21, 24, 27. I know this is the last now. So let's dash. Or I guess let's actually walk. 